Yo, 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 it's Service the Bear here, and I'm back again with a short little video from Fallout 4 this time. Yep, I dive back into my Fallout 4 save as I'm taking a little break from Cyberpunk with everything that's happening lately. Just trying to keep myself going along with the real life issues from work. So here goes, let's get in. And as you can see, I got Piper with me, we're both in power armor. And I'm outside one of the vaults, and it is Vault 81. So I've not been here yet, but it's Vault in time. So I am now going to activate the controls, and we're going to watch the the vault process. Hopefully, if I remember right. So here goes. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. You got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Vault 81, you're still up and running? Yeah, pretty good observation there, genius. Now, about that pit boy. I got it, Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Awesome. So here it goes. Let's move. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like on this. On Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. Most everyone here is very friendly with Commonwealth visitors. 
Although that power armor may make a few people nervous. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. You should be flattered. Not everyone gets a personal welcome from the Overseer herself. Normally, that's my job. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? No, I'm just... tired. Do you usually ask such personal questions anyway? Welcome to Vault 81. I'm Deputy Overseer Mansfield. If you've any questions or problems, please bring them to me. Otherwise, enjoy your time in the vault. What do you do here? I am the Deputy Overseer. I oversee the everyday happenings in the vault and make sure everything keeps running smoothly. This allows the actual Overseer to focus Katie on Penn the is bigger a issues. Here in 81. Like stop what by color class. to repaint her She's office. Big on learning from outsiders. Can you take a look at these schematics? Oh, goody. More junk from the Commonwealth for me to examine. <sighs> All right. Hand it over. I'll look. Oh, I know this device. It's the Vitamatic. The Vault's previous physician used it all the time. However, when Dr. Forsyth took over, he deemed the device too... hazardous? Something about combustible tumors or some such. Is that why you're here? For the Vitamatic? If so, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. Even if we no longer use the device, it's a rare piece of technology. I can't just hand it over to some unwashed uh, outsider. I'm an unwashed outsider? Oh, that's pleasant. And also, this guy's new to me. I don't remember him in my last playthroughs. What if I made it worth your while? Hmm. Perhaps if you were to perform a number of services for the vault... You see, part of my job is making sure the vault runs smoothly. This often means dealing with minor issues before they become a problem. If you've the wherewithal to solve a number of these issues, then I suppose I could justify giving you the Vitamatic as payment. Oh great, services. I'm an errand boy now. Ugh, fine. Give me the details. No promises, though. The first task I'd ask of you is rather mundane but vital to the vault's continued survival. You see, okay, our vault's reactors are kept running almost exclusively by a single Rachel robot. Plenty of medical Old Rusty. However, due to his poor maintenance, Rusty requires a lot of oil to stay operational. A lot of oil. If you could bring, say, ten units of oil to Old Rusty, that should ensure his continued operation. At least for... A few months. That's, uh, that's the news. Back to the, uh... That doesn't sound hard to fix. Rusty is long past due for maintenance. It's not that fixing him would be hard. We simply can't afford the downtime of taking him offline for repairs. Sure, I can do that. Your next task would be a little more hands on. Recently, the vault has been having some issues with its water supply. We've had to run the pumps at full power just to draw on enough water. And the water we do get is... of Stay safe, questionable sir. quality. I'd need you to check the intake pipe at the nearby reservoir, see if anything is blocking the water flow, and if it is, clear it. You may have to get a bit wet. If you manage to solve the issue, boy? fine and speak Better to Catelyn. She deals with the vault's plumbing. Oh joy. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. If you do succeed, I'll have one more task for you. Finish that and the Vitamatic will be yours. Off you go. Stay out of trouble. Off I go. Beautiful day in the vault. Joy. Right, okay. 
So, let's see. Everything's all neat and tidy. Let's see if there's anything I can pinch. Nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. I have no idea who Alexis is, but certainly I will find this person if my pit boy decides to go wonky. If you're wondering why all the things are highlighted, I have a mod that basically highlights stuff like the doors and stuff that has uh, stuff you can basically take, like currency, etc. Blah, blah, blah. How's that power armor working out for you? Another outsider? What they let you in for? Look at the size of that magazine. What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before, we don't need it now. The overseer Who's never she? should have opened your bodyguard? a vault to your kind. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Oh, wow. Bitchy. <clears throat> leave me alone. I've got work to do. Hope that pit boy belongs to you. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. I don't know how you do it. You're living out there. Signs of radiation. Impressive. Oh, look at this place. Our maid's got talent. Hey. What you got for me? You hungry? These always keep me going. Love Nuka Cola. Thank you very much. Your thoughts? Well, aren't I lucky they thought you out just for me? <laughs> hey, Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it. Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. How did you know I was here? Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my Gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my Gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Uh, 
Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Gran makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all year. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Kate. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the hey, other side of the I'll vault. I'll be right back. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. So far, a nice little tour. I don't know if I could actually live in a vault in real life. A lot restricted. That'd be very restrictive. I found a stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow, you're really from the Commonwealth. 
You're Austin's best friend? We've been friends forever. There aren't a lot of other kids in the vault. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Alright, well that's that done. Let's get scarfing on. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. I heard we had a trader in today. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Just taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Hey, that's a robot. Done. Oh, I need more seeds. We found out. Yes, we did. We oh, hey. You must be the outsider. I'm Catlin, the vault's plumber. Or at least the closest thing 81 has to a plumber. I don't suppose Mansfield sent you here. I've been bugging him for weeks now to get someone on the water situation. Recently, the water pressure from the vault's intake line dropped. That's not a huge deal, it happens now and again. Usually, we just compensate by increasing power to the pumps. Then, when a work team's free, we send them out to clear any blockages. But this is the fifth time the pressure's dropped in the last few days. I don't know what keeps causing it, and all the work teams are busy. We do have water and storage tanks, but if we can't get the water pressure back up, we'll be emptying the tanks faster than we can fill them. Yes, I'm here to help. Oh, good. It's about time someone did something. The vault's residents have started to complain about the water, and I don't know what to tell them. So, tell me about him. Mansfield? He's a decent enough sort, but he does rub some residents the wrong way. People say he's a pencil-pushing worrywart. But, when we first opened the vault, he was one of the first out to explore the wastes. I don't know, that seemed kind of brave to me. Although he was also the first to come back. I don't think he liked what he found out there. Since then, it seems like he's always butting heads with Overseer McNamara. Some say he's after her job. I've got to get going. Okay, bye. <coughs> Hello again, here to talk about our water problems? Yes, I'm here to help. Oh, good. It's about time someone did something. The vault's residents have started to complain about the water, and I don't know what to tell them. The water? 
Recently, the water pressure from the vault's intake line dropped. That's not a huge deal, it happens now and again. Usually, we just compensate by increasing power to the pumps. Then, when a work team's free, we send them out to clear any blockages. But this is the fifth time the pressure's dropped in the last few days. I don't know what keeps causing it, and all the work teams are busy. We do have water and storage tanks, but if we can't get the water pressure back up, we'll be emptying the tanks faster than we can fill them. Showing off that power. Right, so we gotta fix the water. Come on, Piper, hurry up. We're not in any rush to go. Need to check the water pumps hey. again. The water sounds funny. Over here. That's a plan. Hey. Just let me know. Hey, Piper. Something I can do? Thoughts? I can always count on you, can't I? Don't want any trouble in leaving you. Oh, security, security. Whiny, whiny, whiny. Right, we're gonna find this water bit and then. We shall end it once we come back and speak to Kate. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. That's so weird. I come out of power armor and then I kind of try and get the day to let me. Sit here. I'll take this stuff up nearly four to ten, so that's plenty of daylight. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Piper, get out of the water. Heads up. What can I do? Move. 
move here. Uh huh. Wait there. Okay. I'll be here then. Looking a little unsteady. Is there anything you can leave behind? Okay, I see the marker. What's it available? And in we go. Hey, look. A blue suit. Wow, what the fuck is that? Well, it looks like whatever I moved was a bench. All right, let's head back to the vault. Something definitely must have been here recently and I've now got Piper, damn it. Power armor. Better not be here to cause any trouble. Enjoying Vault 81, I trust? What's she doing? Hey! Come on, solo poke. Head over there. Can do. I don't think I can get to that. Must be a pleasant response. Go there. For you. That's out of my reach. Being in here. Oh, fine. Look alive. Where to? Piper. You've got my undivided attention. Your thoughts? Hey, doll face. That was all I had. Oh. 
Oh, she just hangs about in the laboratory. Nice. Hello again. Here to talk about our water problems? You should have plenty of clean water now. Was that you who cleared the water intake? I noticed the pressure's back to normal. I'm glad someone was able to do something. The water may still have a strange taste, but at least now we won't run out of it. Here, take this. I'm sure Mansfield's already paying you, but I want to give you a personal thank you. Oh, yay. i to report back to Mansfield then. Uh, let's back up the elevator. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. away in the security bit. Let me go this way. Hey. I've been hearing good things about you. Old Rusty is running at peak efficiency. And the vault's water problems have been solved. I didn't expect such confidence from a wastelander. I must say I'm pleasantly surprised. Seems like everywhere I go, people doubt me. Please understand, our experience with outsiders has been... mixed. I meant no offense. Now that you've demonstrated your ability to get a job done, I feel I can entrust you with something more... important. If you complete this last task, I'll be happy to reward you with the Vitamatic. How do I know you'll honor our agreement? It's more... Advantageous for the vault to remain on good terms with outsiders such as yourself. Reliable individuals are worth their weight in caps. All right, what's the issue? Ever since we opened the vault, our safety has been of chief concern. We routinely send out security patrols. But recently, one such patrol has yet to report in. She's not yet overdue, but still... I'm concerned. A mercenary crew resides in the area. She was sent to scout. And they've caused trouble for us before. What I'd ask is that you find our wayward patrol and bring her safely back to the vault. Do you know where I can find her? Yes. Her patrol route was between here and Forest Grove Marsh. So she's most likely still there, but with the mercenaries recently claiming that area, she may be in trouble. Hopefully I'm just worrying over nothing, but if you do decide to do this, I'd advise caution. Don't worry, I'll find her. Ah, good. Once you've found our missing patrol, report back to me, and the Vitamatic is yours. Good luck. All right, so we got another job to do, and I'm going to hold it there. We'll just wander off to the front. I heard we had a trainer in today. Showing off your power. All right, so we'll leave it here, and the next video we will be doing the final little quest for Mansfield to get the biomatic. <laughs> Once again, I hope you enjoyed what you were seeing. And like and subscribe for other videos coming from me. Thank you. Goodbye.